hang a little bit. Um, I'm back from my ban. Splatoon 2 launches on July 21st and Minecraft comes May 11th. <laughs> Crap! No, it's all been spoiled! It's over! Got. Got. Thank you, Value, for the 59. And you know what? That's worth it. The band's worth it. <laughs> okay. Uh... <laughs> Okay, so let me talk about this. Wait, let me get this on the screen first. You know, I was actually thinking about waking up for this, but I was like, no, I'm just gonna watch it on stream. Whatever, let's just wait. I am I can be off the internet. See, this is what happens though. I'm not on the internet for a few hours. What happens? I'm like a caveman discovering fire. I'm like, wait, you're telling me I can just put meat in a pan with crap and it tastes good? Oh, what? Because that's what I spent my evening doing. Rather than watching uh, things on the internet, I was like, wait, you put the sauce with the meat and then you put the rice in there? What? What? That's crazy. And then I put a little guacamole on there. Oh, it was good. It, was, it kind of slapped. I'm not going to lie. Okay. I haven't started. I'll wait for the ads. Wait. Wh why can't I see the ads? Dude, my, my layout broke. Now I can't see when the ads are going anymore. What is this crap? I don't want to see this. How do I fix this? I need to bring the ads back. Because I before I could like see when they were there. But now I can't. Because the stupid layout changed. Wait, how do I? Okay, edit layout. Uh, what do I? Um, dude, they make this crap. So, okay, wait, here we go. Ads manager, ad panel. Did that work? Save. Okay, I think that worked. Okay, I can see the ads again. Uh, okay, so yeah, I haven't, I haven't seen this yet, guys. So here's my predictions going in. All right, and I'm not gonna look at chat too much for this. Maybe just to get the general vibe because I don't wanna get spoiled, but. Okay, announcements here. Uh. First one, I think there's going to be a Mario game of some sort. I don't know which one, but if I have to think about it, I'm thinking, uh, when did Mario Party Superstars come out? It came out a long time ago. I feel like they have to maybe do another one of that or like maybe a Mario Kart, like some multiplayer. Because there's been, it's been too long. It's been way too long since there's been like a multiplayer. And like Mario, Mario Kart 8 is done with the updates. So I feel like there's got to be something and they just didn't do crap with Mario Party Superstars. I feel like they either have one of those left in them for the Switch, or maybe they're like, we're gonna dual release, but why would they do that with a party game? I mean, yeah, I feel like there's probably one of them. I don't think they're gonna make a new Mario Kart. I would say maybe a new Mario Party or maybe just some new thing entirely. Uh, I don't think they're gonna do a 3D Mario. I don't think they're gonna do a 2D Mario. Um. They're going to announce Paper Mario TM The Thousand Year Door Remake Remake. That's my announcement. They're going to remake it again. Uh, I don't know. There might, maybe, maybe there's some Metroid news. I'm going to be honest. I don't really keep up with all this, man, because I don't know. I don't know the Metroid lore. I've never played a Metroid game, but I know people are always like, when's the Metroid? Okay. When's the, when's the Metroid? When's Marvel? Wins Marvel, you know, who knows? I don't know when it is. Uh, okay. So there's going to be those. Probably not an RPG, or at least not like a Paper Mario. They're not going to announce a new one after announcing, like, one of the, like, they just did the remake. Uh, maybe some Zelda crap. I don't know, man. We fit. <laughs> I've got the balance board. Can we bring back that? Hey, can we get Wii Fit? I got the board. Bring it back. Hey, I want I want to play that. Can we bring it back? Uh, okay. I'm trying to think about it. Anything else? No. They said they're not talking about the console. I mean, that's the obvious thing. They said it's not gonna be in this. There's gotta be like one or two big ones. They're, they're, they're maybe going to do some, like, new games in a series. And then, like, one, like maybe one new thing entirely. 
Probably not like a new IP, but maybe like a new game, like the Peach game. Where it was like this new concept. Maybe two. At least one. They gotta have something up their sleeve, man. All right, I think that's enough. Let's just go ahead and get started. That's all, that's really all I have. I don't have anything else. Thank you, Malex, for the gifted subs. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't think about it. Oh, thank you. Let me move up my alerts. I was trying to clean up my stuff and I messed it up. I'll move the alerts up so they're over the top. Thank you. Okay, they should be up there now. Um, okay, let's watch it. 42 minutes, eh? Let's give it a go. Let's see what we got in here. Whoa, it's Mario! What? Wait, but what Mario? This looks new. New art style. Yo, that man's getting hit by the bees. Uh oh. He's dead! What is this, Mario and Luigi? I thought that series died. What? It's back! Interesting art style. Is this a- this is a Switch game? I'm getting kind of like 3DS style vibes from this, but it might just be the like art style. Is it like- it's not cell shading necessarily. But they have like a thick outline. Like, dude, let me tell you something really quick. I'm gonna watch the rest of this, but I, I can say this as someone who's like worked with YouTube thumbnails as a YouTuber. Pe this is like the type of crap people do in YouTube. They take like a Mario Odyssey screenshot and then they, they, do the, they do the object select and then they go in and they add in the stroke. They add in the stroke so there's like an outline and then they hit it with the drop shadow so they Ooh. pop out. Uh, it's, it's giving me YouTube thumbnail vibes, man. <laughs> like you can just take a screenshot of anything and make it a thumbnail. Thank you for the bits. Oh, 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 see, that's a thumbnail, dude. Him doing that with the animation? This is the... Th wait, wait, wait. I need to... Uh, th that's a thumbnail shot. I bet you if you go on YouTube, like someone's reaction to the direct, it's like him doing that. Wait, where is it? Sorry, I won't pause a lot. I just I just want to see it. It's too... It's too good. I, I'll stop pausing. I just... I need to see the thumbnail. It's the content brain, okay? Wait, wait, wait. That's a thumbnail. That's it. You put that on a YouTube video, 5 million views. Easy. Oh my god, he's dead. Whoa, wait, who's this guy? So there is a new RPG game. Is that Roy? Oh, Gorumbla. I'm not gonna lie, he looked like Roy. That's also a thumbnail. I like that animation, though. This looks kind of sick. Snoutlet. Some of these guys are giving me, like, Kirby boss vibes. Mario and Luigi, what? Brothership! The Brothership! But that's cool. That means it's a new game and not like a remake or a remaster. That's kind of hype. November 7th? That's pretty soon, man. Thank you, Bat Tubed. Hello, everyone. Hello. I'm Shinya Takahashi, and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. That was the first new entry in the Mario and Luigi Okay, series. but it's at least in this year. Mario and Luigi Brothership. It looks pretty good, man. Look forward to a seafaring adventure I haven't played all the Mario and Luigi games, but the games that I have played as well as were a lot of fun. Moves I played like the first couple. Luigi. I played uh, Partners in Time and okay. Superstar Saga. Let's see the first batch of headlines. Bring the championships home. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, I forgot about this. 
How did I forget about this? The thrill of the Nintendo World Championship. This is like esports. Nintendo Switch system. Take on over 150 speed running challenges from across 13 NES games. Personal best fast beats speed run mode. battles. Yeah, I'll probably pick this one up. This looks fun. I think this will be like a good stream game, actually. Challenge and perfect your timing. Then give it your best shot and aim for the top of the. I think it'll actually be a good stream game. You can also try more difficult. Especially if there's like online, but I don't know. Like completing Super Mario Brothers in one go using warp pipes. What? Never been done before. Stuck on a legend challenge? Check out classified information for handy tips and tricks to help you improve. Wait, that's actually sick skill. though, dude. Imagine you're like mate like you're like cosmic or like one of those guys that speed runs that. You you can just dominate. You already have the world record, you're already doing it faster than everybody else. Now you get to do it on the official Nintendo leaderboards. To the test in survival mode, where you'll race see this. This looks cool. I like this. Players worldwide. After each round, half of the players. Yeah, he kind of ran the eliminated. show in SMB 35. You've I remember. Only got one shot to survive. Will you be the last one standing? Nintendo World Championships NES Edition launches on Nintendo Switch July 18. I'm not a big NES guy. I would like more 3D stuff personally. E I understand why they're doing a NES. Set containing a physical version but if they the ever do an updated version, that'd be cool. Like Mario 64, that would be that would be sick. The final battle of Fairy Tale is about to begin. Uh oh, weebs detected. Happy. Relive the climactic Alvarez Empire arc from the hit anime fairy tale in this Wait, action RPG. Actual, actual weebs detected. Set in the vast kingdom of Fiore, Team Natsu prepares to finish their fight. Engage in real time battles. I mean, I've at least heard of fairy tale. I at least know what that one is. Kinds of magic based on who's in your party. So it, it's just like a JRPG type thing. Work together with your teammates to take down powerful enemies. Fairy Tale 2 launches on Nintendo Switch this winter. Dude, it's a Nintendo Direct, right? So this is like one of 50 of these games. Embark on a multi oh, see, what, what is this, man? What is this? There's another one. From Final Fantasy series creator Hironobu Sakaguchi and composer Nobuo Uematsu comes the turn-based RPG Fantasian. I mean, look, people like it, the right? Or they have to, otherwise they wouldn't keep making it. It's just not me, man. It's memories, not my thing. Leo must confront an evil entity threatening all mankind. They always have banger skills tunes. The ticket to winning battles. Oh, look, it's a dog. Adjust a skills trajectory to target multiple enemies at once. Doggy. You can oh also my god, send the dog died. to a separate dimension and fight them later. The more enemies there are, the more you can wipe out. Why are they like at shot. the bottom of the ocean? Let them go. Now. Let us save the world together. I'm okay watching this full direct without skipping through this because I've got a nice beverage. Fantasian Neo Dimension launches on Nintendo It's Switch keeping me satisfied. Holiday. It gives me time to process the other announcements. Another sport is coming mm. to Spoko Square. What? Another sport? Basketball? basketball These guys created basketball? Update to the Nintendo Switch sports game. Thanks for the 100. Pass. And shoot. Uh, no comment on it right now. In two on two matches using motion controls. What do we have right now, dude? I'll show you. The Baja Blast Zero Sugar version. Three point challenge solo. It's a rare find. I pick it up every time I can. The time Wait, three point challenge? I'm in. Up to four players dude, I'm, I'm actually down. Five streak battle. I'm a three point fiend. Get me on the court. Besides local play, you can team up with players worldwide in two on two online matches. Go ahead, hey, give me. Uh, this looks exactly like they did in Wii Sports Resort. This free update for <laughs> Nintendo Switch Sports. Hey, I'll, I'll do it, dude. Nintendo I'm bringing Switch it out this summer.
I only played Wii Sports Resort recently, though. I only played it a little bit, so I probably didn't explore all of it. What is this? That guy's got a th thing on his head. Wait a minute, is this Mario? I mean, the art style is cool. It's like that kind of sketchy style. Wait, is that an orb? Okay, that didn't tell me any information. It's an array of cartoon classics. But I like orbs, so. Leap into a new update for Disney Illusion Island. Monoth's greatest detective is solving a mystery, and only Mickey and friends can help. In the brand new adventure, Mystery and Monoth, uncover hints and evidence scattered throughout the world. Whoa! Then use the dashboard to crack each case. One I've heard these games are bad. The I don't think, actually. Thing because this free update launches on Nintendo Switch later today. It's available today? Is that Hello Kitty? Await. Oh, finally! Dude, I've been waiting for this for ages. Now we have Hello Kitty Island Adventure on the Switch? Come on, man. We gotta get with the times. Customize your character. Then befriend Hello Kitty, Karomi, and other That's been on mobile for like ages, right? Adventure. Team up with I've been waiting, man, years. And no, I think it came out last year. Island when Hello Kitty Island Adventure launches as a timed console exclusive on the Nintendo Switch system next year. Wow. <laughs> Let's get loony in this wacky sports game. Play as Bugs Bunny. Yo, Daddy we got Duck, Porky Pig, We got Looney Tunes Sports before we got GTA 6. Sports. That's crazy. Unleash the full power of Acme across iconic levels in up to four player local co op. But watch Sugar Rar, thanks for, for the 73. Get a burrito. Tunes, wacky World of Sports crashes onto Nintendo Switch this fall. What's up, Doug? That's all, folks. Let's see if you can be a game on. Game Emergency on. Emergency meeting. Sus! New crewmate and imposter roles are being added to Among Us. Alert others when eliminated Holy! as a noisemaker. Plant Wait, we're hitting the headlines right others. now. This is huge. Tracker. Or turn invisible while taking out players as a phantom. Sus things out when this free uh, update for see, Among Us. Ah, he said it. He said sus things out. Later today. They know what they're doing, man. A monster army is at your command. Who are those foxes? This is Felicidad, that's hope, or that's a realm hype. of monsters. Those who command and raise them are called Farmagia and play a vital role in the land's civilization. Do Ten they farm? Farmagia must rise up against the oppressive Magus to stop his vicious reign of the underworld. If they don't farm in Farmagia, that's crazy. And lead them into the fight against the Magus's army. Plant oh, yep, seeds. yep, he's farming. There and it is. Cultivate and harvest them to make your buddies come to life. What did that fox just come off a plant? What was that? Be trained for battle. What? That guy just came out of a what? Give commands to your monsters and exploit enemy weaknesses in action-packed combat. I do like I like those Merge fox the dog things though. Party to call forth a giant fusion summon and Whoa. wreak havoc on your foes. What is that? Okay, the frame rate though, it's looking rough. Join the the frame rate on some of these gameplay the shots is not good. Farmagia, <laughs> launching on Nintendo Switch November 1st. Kong? Wait, Dong located? Donkey Kong Country Returns, originally released on the Wii system, is barreling onto Nintendo Switch. Okay, remake. In HD. The villainous Tiki I was waiting to see if it was a remake or not. The local wildlife and stolen Donkey Kong's precious banana hoard. Not the bananas. Obstacles in the way? Just stomp them. Pound them. 
and roll on through. Each level is filled with hijinks, but they're no match for these top bananas. From Manic Minecarts. Even if I don't play this game, the soundtrack's about to be fire. high-flying rocket barrels. So, you know, it's, it's not bad. And even hitching a ride on Rambi. There are plenty of... See, listen to that. It's a banger. Available. Pass a Joy-Con controller to a buddy for two-player local co-op. I'm still waiting to see if... The only real thing that I was thinking is like some type of in store. like Including Mario or Nintendo party Nintendo game that's like version. new, not like the Switch Sports update. That's really the only thing I had in this prediction. I did not expect an RPG. That's HD crazy, though. Swings onto the Nintendo Switch system January 16th. One of Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong's jungle escapades returns in HD. HD? Plenty of wild actions and antics are in store with these Kongs. Next, please take a look at this. Oh god, when they do the snap, that's the you know it's getting real. Like, they didn't just slide this one in. This is like, this is a big deal. You gotta focus up. What is this? Dude, you know, I feel like I've been seeing a lot of games doing this, like... 2D, 3D thing. Like, I think Octopath Traveler did that. I never played that game. It's got a very distinct style. That's Dragon Quest. It's a remake. Wait, okay, hold up. Can we talk about the title of this game? Like, what are they, they gonna figure this out? Can we, like, can we do something better? Wait. Dragon Quest 3 HD... 2D remake. <laughs> there's, there's, a, there's a lot of things at the end. I gotta throw an and knuckles featuring funky mode at the end. Journey with allies to face the arch fiend. The fiend. On an Thank you for the resub. Adventure. Memorable encounters. I never played a Dragon Quest, Quest game. The only thing I know about this is that the little blue slime guys from there, right? And formidable monsters await. An iconic RPG remade in HD 2D. There's like the blue dudes. That's all I know about. Forge your own path. Some of them do have crazy names. Like, what's that other, the fighting game? It's like... Under nights in like rebirth, like the like I, 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 some weird games. stuff. They just they just threw a bunch of words on there, man. Dragon Quest Three HD Two D Remake. Coming Square to Nintendo Enix. Switch, November Fourteenth. Okay, I don't think it's a Zelda ripoff, man. Dragon Quest has been around for like a million years. This is not new, okay? It's been around for like decades. Whoa, they're doing the other ones too. Dragon Quest fans are popping off right now. Nintendo oh, that guy, that's the guy I know about, the little blue dude. Konnichiwa. I know about that guy. That's the only one I know. クエスト3の映像いかがでしたか。ようやく発売日を発表できて、僕も嬉しく思います。そして今日サプライズで発表したドローンクエスト1&2も、HD2Dで読み上げることが決定しました。Dude, Wait a minute. There's one thing I forgot to talk about. They're okay. Picture the scene here. I don't mean to interrupt this, okay? So we're gonna reach the end of the remake or the, the end of the direct, and they're gonna be like, everything fades, and then the guy's gonna be like, but wait, we have one final announcement. And then you're gonna hear doo doo, and it's gonna be like Mario Maker 3. And it's gonna show up and everyone's gonna be like, oh that's gonna happen, trust me. Thank you, Mr. Horry. I forgot to put that in there. 
We hope you're excited Dude, to play. I yelled and my watch gave me a loud environment sound telling me that the sound levels hit 90 decibels. Hey, shut up, watch. The entire Erdrick trilogy, now in HD 2D. Let's continue with more headlines. Let's have some hey, fun. Funko Come. Pop? What? Say hello to Dude, what is this? Jaws? Funko Pop game? Scott, <laughs> is that Marty McFly? Wait, what is happening the in this game? Funko is coming to life in this action adventure mashup. Yo, for the it's Freddy Five Bear. Sixty characters as you explore locations based on over twenty iconic movies, TV shows, and more. Use special skills and crafted gadgets to explore epic worlds. <laughs> Dude, this is crazy. Puzzles, what is happening here? Familiar foes. What is this? From Jurassic World and Cylons from Battlestar Galactica. They're certainly not toying around. Unbox the universe. Oh my god, he came out of the box. What is... This is just an insane shot. Dude, imagine someone from like the 80s who like grew up with the OG, like the, the beginning of console gaming, you're, and you show them this, you're like, hey, can you believe that this is a video game? Like, what are they gonna think? I mean, I can't believe it. And I've grown up with games my entire life. Like what? This is insane. When Funko Fusion pops on- Can you Nintendo like tap Switch your Funkos? Or whatever? We've got a smorgasbord of spooky, silly, and strategic games. Spooky, Ready silly, an and strategic. Ghoulish proportions. Oh yeah, this is coming out pretty soon, right? Summon your courage Hello? and explore Hello? multiple mansions filled with goofy ghosts, tricky traps, and other supernatural shenanigans. Luigi's Mansion 2 HD launches on Nintendo Switch June 27th. Yo, that Pre man's showering. Now on Nintendo Give him some e privacy. Meet the quirky little Dempa Man. What? Find him, catch him, and the lead Dempa him on a man? RPG adventure. What is this? Explore dungeons and battle <laughs> monsters. <laughs> Wait, this looks kind of crazy. Customize all what? sorts of outfits. What? Decorate your island however you'd like. I'm not gonna lie, man. I kind of vibe with it. Plus, up to four players in local co-op can team up to catch special Dempa Man. I want to catch the Dempa Man. Is free to play and launches as a timed exclusive. It's on free Nintendo to play. Switch, July 22nd. What? I'm gonna catch all the Dempa Men. Strategize away in this tower defense installment of the Metal, Metal Slug. Slug okay, very cool. Take control of your forces and pulverize enemy strongholds. Choose from over 300 units with different abilities. Why is that one and person in the back of a cube floating around them? Tactical tussles. You can also slug it out with other players in online battles. Metal, Metal Slug is pretty fun. Reloaded. Storms onto the Nintendo Switch system later today. What? Today? Embark on an expedition of the damned in this eagerly awaited sequel to the gothic roguelike RPG. Board your stagecoach and set off across a decaying landscape to prevent an apocalypse. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Metal Slug's not my favorite game. Combat. But if you just want to hit buttons, I mean, it's pretty fun. And upgrade your abilities after it would never be my run. first choice at the arcade, to be Darkest honest with you. Dungeon 2 launches on Nintendo Switch. July Darkest 15th. Dungeon 2? What? Begin later today. Wait, Nintendo that's kind of cool. E more classic titles are on the way. Give me... We need more Iggy Shrekin Balls. Play Link's classic 16-bit adventure. And team Can we get more of that? Dude, I actually love this game. The Legend of Zelda, a link to the this game is actually swords. so fun. I'm surprised they didn't already have that one. Experience the remake of Samus' first adventure in Metroid Zero Mission. I've never even played this. I've never played a Metroid game. Plus, coming to the new Nintendo 64, uh -oh. Nintendo Switch mature Online, 17 Mature 17+. Plus collection of games. Turok Dinosaur Hunter? What? Campaigners nefarious schemes what? In Turok Dinosaur Hunter. Uh, dude. And hey, if you're under 17, don't look. Wait, what is this? 
Whoa, Infiltrate Perfect Dark. I never played this game because... Perfect Dark. Actually, let me tell you guys a little story. This is very brief. So I could never play this game or GoldenEye unless I visited a friend's house because my parents were very strict on me not playing T or M games until I was a T or M. I could only play E. And one time my parents had a fight because my aunt on my dad's side got me a really crappy James Bond game for the DS. And like we were at my, my dad's family's house and my mom didn't want me to play it. And my dad was like, well, my sister got it. You got to let him play it. And she was like, well, no, he can't play the T games. And then uh, they, they had like a big argument about it and it ended up on the bedside drawer on my mom's side of the bedroom. And so I would have to sneak in to get it. And I played it a few times and then I realized, wait a minute, this game kind of sucks. So then I put it back and just went back to like playing Pokemon or whatever because it was terrible. It was not fun, okay? <laughs> but uh, it was a real thing that happened. Now with online multiplayer. All four games will be available for Nintendo Switch. I was like, you know what? You can, you can just have it. Members later today. Set sail to save the day. But yeah, that's why I never got to play this those games. Marilla, but I know people love Perfect Dark. With the ability to communicate with phantoms. I'm gonna get grounded. Ah, uh, you know, I'll risk it. Join her on a journey to save her friend Ash. What does he just do to the? Oh my God! In this new installment in the Phantom Brave series. That was so loud. <laughs> Take on tactical turn-based battles where you'll combine the phantoms you befriended with objects in various I ways. I am not the target demographic for this. Combine okay, I can just tell you right now, I'm not. Maneuver them. Dude, what is this, 15 FPS? Oh my turret. god, that was so bad. Wait a minute, hold up. We need to watch that again. That was like, that was like sub 10 FPS. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Hold up. Large Dude, what? What are we like back in the 90s? Dude, just watch this cannon scene. Objects to maneuver them. Like when it, when Combined they go to the cannon. The cannon to oh, that was so area. bad. It hurts, man. A fan that was rough. Enemies around. Or combine with Marona herself for show. The game was fighting for its life. Tide of battle. Phantom Brave, the Lost Hero, launches on Nintendo Switch next year. This one's gonna take you for a ride. Whoa, is that the guy who- Seven arcade games featuring Marvel and Capcom characters are- Well, I said wins Marvel, Switch I didn't actually mean it, dude. Collection. <laughs> Flash in X-Men versus Street Fighter. Uh, apparently it's here. Duke it out in Marvel versus Capcom 2, New Age of Heroes. Wins Marvel. Take down the kingpin in the beat em up side scroller, the Punisher, and more. Hit up training mode to polish your fighting skills and combos. Whoa, frame data? Select all I love data. to challenge rivals around the world. Or play co op in the Punisher. You can also cross over to the museum to view artwork or listen to music from each game. I wanna take a Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Banger. Collection Arcade Classics launches on Nintendo Switch this year. Wait, okay, so hold up, I need to recap. It's like halfway through this direct. What would I play? I think there's an ad, so I'm kind of stalling. I like the Mario and Luigi game. I don't know if I'll stream it or not. I feel like playthroughs of games like that are kind of like hard to do on stream to be entertaining. Uh, I, I mean, I've, I've kind of learned that I'm just not a casual gamer, dude. I'm sure people will stream it, but I've never been like a big casual guy, but I do like they're doing something new. Uh, the Switch Sports update is cool. Other than that, I don't know. There's like nothing to, like that I'm too crazy excited about in here so far other than the Mario and Luigi thing, which I think is probably the coolest. Uh, oh yeah, and the Dinpa men. <laughs> I'm gonna go, okay, here's my list. I get, I get Nintendo Switch Sports Update, Mario and Luigi, Dinpa men, and Funko Pop Game. That's my list of must plays so far. 
Okay, I think there's like 20. Oh, Hello Kitty Island Adventure. That's good. All right. I think the ad's basically done. There's like 20 seconds, but. Okay, we got a little Mario action. Wait. Okay. So it says, Mar I read the Mario Party, but the thing that I noticed first was the text. And they always use this font in the new Mario Party games. So I read the, so there you are. And I thought this is gotta be Mario Party game. It's the same font. Uh, I did not skip a section. <laughs> I just unpaused. Okay, anyway, sorry. Let, let's see this. What is this? I've been looking at thumbnails too much. The latest game in the Mario Party series takes place on an enormous okay. it's island It's either good resort. or bad. Get Which one is it? Jump into the biggest selection of There's Mario no in-between. Mini games yet in Super Mario Party Jamboree. Okay. I'm a little First, sus. Let's see some of the new boards. Okay, that's that's Mario Party one. Most stars. That's like Rainbow whatever. Take the Coconut escalators Mall. to travel between floors. Whoa, in that's Rainbow kind of Galleria. That's kind of base. Use in-game coins to get a star. Wait, that's a people on flash sale. You can play but as a ninja. Actually kind of base. Ride around and stay on track in Rollum Raceway. Oh, that's smart. With Why the have they ever done this before? Item, you can move up to 40 spaces with a lucky roll. Here on Goomba Lagoon, the ebb and I feel like that's based off of like your path. me party and or whatever. We we really party get mixed up when the volcano blows its top. I feel like that inspired this board, maybe. Along with five new game boards, two boards from previous Mario Party games. Oh, Western Land! Their return. Nice! I love Western Land. Some mini games are action-packed challenges, speed trials, a battle of wits, and more. Oh, uh, okay. And some are new mini games. Gently shaking or tilting your Joy-Con controllers. Okay, with I hope it's not forced Joy-Con. I don't love that, but I can work with it. Also, what is this? Up to 20 players can go head-to-head -head online in the Coupathlon mode. The Coupathlon mode? Against your rivals what? For first place. That's kind of sick, actually. Try your best to come out on top. I think that's cool. I love modes like that. Wait, there are even more new modes? What? The biggest Mario Party yet will soon be Yo, underway. wait, you can play a Spike, I'm in. Super Mario Party Jamboree <laughs> game launches on the Nintendo Switch system October 17th. Wait, I'm in for the Spike. That was the latest installment in the Mario Party series. Okay, I think that's going to be a banger. If it's Joy-Con only, it loses a little bit of points. That's partially why I didn't like Super Mario Party. I hope that the online play is fine because i think they addressed that in mario party superstars i like they're bringing back new boards the new boards look well i, I like to bring back old boards the new boards they're announcing look good and it looks like the mini games are new so all in all looking very good we'll see on the joy con pro con thing super good super character mario selection party jamboree the online mode looks cool new boards mini games yeah. 20 player online gameplay and hey, more. Hey, thanks, Blast, though. Get ready for the biggest Mario There's button party controls. Okay, history. that's all I really care about. And now, please take a look at this. Oh, what is this? This man is going to drop that on me and then be like, yeah, just move past it. Okay, man. Oh, it's Lonk. Wait, is this a new game or because they use this graphics on the like Link's Awakening, right? I didn't ever play that game, but it looks similar. Oh my god, he's dead! Oh, wait, do you play a Zelda? If so, that's kind of sick. But if you play a Zelda, that kills the memes. When everyone's like, when, oh, are you playing a Zelda? You actually are. Oh, new game. Hello, everyone. I'm A.G. Aonuma, producer Wait, that's of sick. the Legend of Zelda series. What you just saw was the latest installment, The Legend of Zelda. That's kind of crazy. Of 
They announced three new around, games. Link has vanished. Now it's up to Zelda, Princess Mario Zelda Party, to step and Mario and Luigi. Role. That's crazy. You might be thinking, will Zelda fight with a sword then? Here, we wanted to create a new gameplay style that breaks conventions seen in past Legend of Zelda games with a top-down perspective. Interesting. To explain more, please take a look at this video. Let's see what we got. Stolen away. Across the vast lands of Hyrule, strange rifts have appeared and have taken many people, including Link. Dude, that would be terrifying alone, to see, though. Zelda meets the fairy Tri, receives Try. a mysterious staff called the Tri Rod, and sets off on a journey across Hyrule to save her kingdom. It's... By waving the Tri Rod at a table she found, it's like Zelda tri learned forks. how to create an imitation of it called an Echo. Whoa, Once you learn wait, an echo of sick. something, you can recreate it whenever you'd like. Even if there's a wall blocking your path, you can create echoes of tables That actually looks really cool, up. but I feel like my Just like that. small brain cannot handle this level of puzzles. You can create wooden boxes, old beds, and unusual things like water blocks. How you use them separately or together is entirely up to you. Learn and create echoes of things you find. I mean, while it brings up Hyrule. an interesting idea for like a challenge run. You might be surprised. Table only discover. run, bed only. Even battles will look different. You could pick up and throw a rock echo, for example. That's not all, though. You can also create echoes of monsters. Wait, this After is kind of sick. So, they'll fight by your side. Monsters have different abilities, so choose the one you want to create based on the situation. Wisdom is key, after all. This is actually insane. I feel like if this game doesn't have any glitches, so I'm going to be very surprised. Not that it matters, really, but I feel like this In mechanic, without Link, people will definitely find a way to break it. The fate of the kingdom is now in Zelda's hands. How was that? I hope you enjoyed this demonstration of the Echo ability, which channels Princess Zelda's wisdom. It was there a great... There are a lot of Echoes in this You can game. be a sign, to be honest, I or make a sign, whatever. How you solve puzzles and battle enemies will change depending on the echoes used. In short, we've created a game where each player's experience will be different. Dude, I love that though, I love that. Echoes of Wisdom launches September 26th. Dude, these Nintendo games are Switch not that far. Inspired by the Legend of Zelda series will also October, be available at launch. September. We hope you're looking forward to playing That's as like three Zelda months. in this new adventure. They just have been holding on now, to it the whole time? I'd like to return this moment I'd stolen what? away back to Mr. Takahashi. Thank you, Mr. Aonuma. Please look forward to the newest entry in the Legend of Zelda series. Let's see a few more headlines. Yeah, what else you got? Give me more Funko Pop. Or the Dimplemen. Let loose and party Oh, here we go. The real content. Don't, hey, hey, don't mute the VOD. We have to keep it, uh, we gotta keep it instrumental. Uh, or, uh, educational. Guys, uh, today we're gonna be talking about the history of the Just Dance series and how it has impacted, uh, the... It's impacted the cultural significance on the Western world when it comes to entertainment for a more casual audience. Uh, you can really learn how to dance and do cool stuff uh, unlike any other games. And it, it's a dancing game, but you distinct yourself from things like DDR because the music selection is a little more Western, modernized, and you actually can do full body movements. Uh, it's very cool. And it's a great way to expand your uh, your your music and and dance uh, variety, and it's uh, very uh, it's a uh, cool. Don't worry, guys. I made it educational. On the horizon, <laughs> it's the world of Horizon in Lego. I'm form. trying to not get the VOD muted. I had Join to talk over it. Hunter Aloy on a quest to save the world from an Thank ancient you for the evil. 52 Journey through Burgers, lush appreciate landscapes. It. 
dive deep into the cauldrons, climb up onto tall necks, mm, and traverse other locations inspired by the original game. But be careful. Swarms of machines are lurking everywhere. I used to love Lego Use Star Wars, man, back like in the day. Boots and gravity bombs I'm not even a big down. Star Wars, like, fan, but From that game is fun. To mighty Sawtooths. You might even come across the fearsome Thunderjaw. As you progress, you can help Aloy rebuild her home and customize her appearance with lots of outfits. Oh, and you don't have to explore this vast wilderness alone. What? Team up with familiar faces from the world of Horizon in two-player local or online co-op. That's kind of cool, actually. I like that. Lego I'm, Horizon I'm not a big Adventures. Lego guy. I don't Launches think I'll pick it up, but Switch this holiday. I, uh, I think for people that like Lego, it's probably good. It's quite fun. A Stray's Journey Begins. Cat. Oh no! Oh my god, the cat's dead. Experience oh, just a kidding. decaying cyber city through the eyes of a cat separated from their family and friends. Explore alongside a drone known as Yeah, this as came out a while ago, right? They, they're just home. like bringing it to Switch. Carefully climb to the highest heights. Create new paths for yourself. And stealthily squeeze into tight spaces. I do like that you Think are like a, cat. a cat. To make your way through the city. I mean, Careful you can though. definitely see the Not limitations of the switch here. Slinking around, I would say if you want to play this, maybe play it on another platform. But if Keep the switch is the only one available and you want to play it, then go for it. Unfamiliar world, and make your way back to safety. Stray finds its way onto Nintendo Switch this holiday. Definitely. Look, if you want to play that game and you can play it on anything else, I would say definitely play it on literally anything else. But if the Switch is the only option you really want to play it, then it's probably fine. <laughs> I just think it would look way better. Okay, I'm looking out for you. Dash your swag. There's the 85. Welcome back. Welcome home, Hobbit. If you've ever wanted to live like a hobbit from the Lord of the Rings, Windows 95, now hey, a leisurely it existence, would probably look about the same. <laughs> away in an idyllic, quiet corner of Middle Earth can be yours. Customize your appearance, decorate your home, and settle into life in the Shire. As Wait. a newcomer to the little haven of Bywater, you'll befriend your neighbors, Animal work Crossing, together to solve Skyrim. problems, and even share a meal or three. Explore, garden, hobbit. fish, forage, and cook. The best way to build a hobbit community is by hosting a dinner party with your homemade dishes. Plus, you can trade with your neighbors for unique decorations or special ingredients you know for what? even tastier meals. You might give this game flack, Friendly okay? And familiar faces await your arrival but when my mom would Tales probably Shire like this game, I'm not gonna lie. The Nintendo <laughs> Switch system this holiday. She's an Animal Crossing enthusiast, okay? Investigate, interrogate, checkmate. Ah, uh, Phoenix Wright. Objection! Two Ace Attorney spin-off games, including a sequel that was previously unreleased outside of Japan, are coming to Nintendo Switch as one collection. As the prolific prosecutor Miles Edgeworth, take the case out of the courtroom and investigate crime scenes. Oh. Gather information by interviewing people and inspecting evidence. I never played a Phoenix Wright game, but I've heard they're good. Logic to solve challenging cases. Enjoy all new hand-drawn character visuals from the original series character designer, or swap to the original sprites for a more classic. I love look. games that let Take you a have options from your like that. To explore the gallery, the thousand your door having the music badge was sick. Music, including orchestral arrangements and more. Whoa! Wait, Past live and arrangements? As you uncover the truth at any cost. Ace Attorney Investigations Collection launches on Nintendo Switch September 6th. Pre-orders begin Dude, later today. Dude, these games are all Nintendo like e so soon. Wait, I have something I want to show you guys involving Phoenix Wright. I'll just show you at the end. Uh oh, we've detected. Oh, 
What is that thing? Okay, that's some like nightmare fuel stuff. I'm not gonna lie, that's terrifying. After a devastating attack by unknown assailants, these gremlins are scary. Samino's life gets turned upside down. A mysterious school mascot suddenly appears. It's like I have a While brain Takumi in his head. Just to get out of harm's way, he's then forced to enroll at the Last Defense Academy, along with 15 other students. <gasps> Their mission is to defend the school from hostile student enemies for 100 days. Oh, is it like um... shrouded in secrecy <laughs> and the unavoidable loss of allies? Can Takumi survive this hundred day trial colored by extreme and despair and return to his normal life? The creators of Don Gun Rampa present. The Hundred Line Last Defense Academy launching on Nintendo Switch early next year. Is that like a turn based tactics game? Embark on a saga spanning generations. That's what it looks like. A full remake of Romancing Saga 2 is marching on to Nintendo Switch. Rule and expand is. the empire of Varen across multiple generations while challenging the legendary seven heroes who returned to darkness. In combat, use returning saga features like glimmers to learn skills and formations to enhance abilities. Knight to E5. Turn based oh, that's not a battles chessboard. have also evolved into timeline battles where the action order is key. Innovative features like United Attack can also help with strategy. How will you expand your ads? empire? Okay, I'll pause on the ads. Wait, I'll show you guys an exclusive while there's an ad running. Guys, you like Phoenix Wright? Let me show you what you're missing if you're not watching the videos. <laughs> I'm only going to show you one part of it. Uh, it's in one of my recent videos. Once the ad's done, I'm going to go back. I'm just waiting for the ad to finish. Uh, it's this one. In this video, dude, we're gonna finish this. Look at this. This is this is the this is what you're missing out on if you're not watching my videos, okay? It's tomorrow, but before we go, I've gotta ask this guy one more question. I just want to see if he makes up all of them or if he actually knows. On the very first level of the game, Acorn Plains Dash One. Do you know where the hidden Luigi is? We're gonna see what he says. This is such an easy one. It's right at the beginning. Ah. Uh. Acorn Plains Dash One, a classic level indeed. You can find our green clad hero tucked away in the background near the midpoint flag. Objection! There are no midpoint flags in New Super Luigi U, so how can I find him behind that? <laughs> ah, my sincerest apologies for the misinformation, my friend. You are absolutely right. I must have gotten a bit carried away with my excitement. The hidden Luigi can be found near the end of the level. Keep an eye on the background to the left. You'll spot our green clad hero perched on a tree branch, patiently waiting to be discovered. A tree branch. Okay, let's ask him a simple question. What is the name of the second level in New Super Luigi U? It's right there, it's Crooked Cavern. Does he even know what game we're playing? This guy's in a different plane of existence. <laughs> ah, the second level of New Super Luigi U, a true test of skill and agility. The name of this challenging stage is Waddle Wing's Nest, or level one, what? two. Okay, in this, this level, guy, I've had enough of him. All right, we're moving on. Yeah, that's uh, in my new Super Luigi U video. Here, I'll link it if you want to watch it. Dude, I'm telling you, if you're not watching the videos, it's what you're missing out on, okay? All right, anyways, let me go back to this. Uh, okay, let me continue. And in which order will you fight the seven heroes? Every decision you make will dramatically alter the course of the story. Safeguard your empire's future and protect your legacy from peril. Otherwise, the vengeful seven heroes may emerge victorious. Whoa! Romancing okay, Saga there's like two, three minutes the left. Seven, They've got to hit us with the on like Nintendo Switch, one October final announcement. 24th. It's like, I don't know. Mario we Kart. You're excited to experience Metroid. A full remake of Romancing uh, Saga 2. I mean, they wouldn't do a 3D Mario. That's almost everything for today's Nintendo Direct. 
Sugi ga. Next will be our last announcement. It's like gotta Please be one of those. Life. They're not gonna do new Zelda. Maybe 3D Mario, unlikely. Probably Metroid, maybe Mario Kart. Okay, I'm getting Metroid vibes. Oh yeah, the big Metroid announcement. It's Mario Maker 3! What? They're putting Samus in Mario Maker? Look, I've never played a Metroid game, but I'm, I'm not gonna lie, this looks really good. The frame rate is high, the graphics look good. I mean, Nintendo knows their console better than anyone. They're kind of killing it here. I mean, are they gonna release it on the Switch and the new one? I mean, this is- this looks way too good, and it's running at like 60 FPS. Either they optimized the crap out of this, or there's something going on here. Metroid Prime 4 Beyond. I feel like it has to be a dual release. That looked way too good, man. There's no way, there's no way, there's no shot, I don't believe it. I mean, look, I know they know their console better than everyone, but you compare that to the Funko Pop or that RPG game that went down to 2 FPS when a guy was in a cannon? I mean, it's like night and day. That was a first look at Metroid Prime 4 Beyond. After a very long time, we are finally able to share more information about this title. Release is planned for 2025. I mean, if it's Switch only, so please wait. That's really impressive. We hope you're looking forward. But it seems like it would be the perfect Aaron's game to adventure. dual release. They did that with Twilight Princess. They did it with Breath of the That's Wild. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. They always hit them with the dual release, man. They always hit them with that. Mario Party analysis. I mean, I can try to. One second, where is it? No, this is what I care about, dude. Explore dungeons. Hit me with the din in. <laughs> Customize all sorts of outfits. Decorate your island however you'd like. I'm trying to hit up the din in. Plus, up to four players in local co-op can team up to catch special din in. The new. Okay, sorry. Let me see. Uh, where is it? Mario Party Jamboree. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I can go through it really quick. Dude, I'm actually way too content brained though, because like I was looking. Actually, let me show you this. I can show receipts. So I was reading this subtitle and I read this text. So there you are. And uh, what that. <laughs> what that reminded me of was the text that they use in the other Mario Party games. And I only know what that is because there's this page in the Mario wiki called list of fonts and it has a list of every font ever used in like pretty much every Mario game and there's a font that they've used in like Mario all the Mario parties on the switch as well as like I think they used it in Mario Kart 8 it's like their switch version and I read I saw the font and I'm like dude it's that crap again it's back okay <laughs> But okay, sorry. Uh, let me look at this. This game in the Mario Party series takes place on an enormous island resort. Get ready to jump into the biggest selection of Mario Party mini games. Yeah, so I think this is this is like the list of playable characters or something. So what do we got here? We got the standard lineup plus Toad, Toadette, and then you got kind of like the 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 oddballs on the bottom here. So we got Bowser, BJR. Koopa, Goomba, Spike on the left there. Uh, Monty Mole. This is a big day for Mole fans and Spike fans. 
We got a we got a boo. We got shy guy. Get in, Super Mario but, yeah, there Party is. A, I saw Jamboree. there was a ninji, so there might be more even. First, let's see some of the new boards where you'll compete. Yeah, so I saw this. This is um like the Rainbow Castle from Mario Party One. To collect the most stars. Uh, so there's like lucky spaces. There's item spaces. Take the These are lucky. To travel between Versus, there looks like they're maintaining a lot of the stuff. These look like uh, happening spaces because there's a shy guy there. Probably some type of event. I don't know what that space is in the left there. Floors in Rainbow Galleria. Wait, I can look at the board here. Bowser space. Uh. Yeah, I'm trying to see if there's like a chance time. These are probably like these little like orb spaces, maybe or like items. I don't know. They seem too frequent though. But maybe this is like an area you don't normally go to. I don't know. Use in-game coins to get a star at half. Okay, we got a ninji. We got Toadat, Donkey Kong, Peach, Flash Sale, Mini Game, Home Stretch. What is all this crap in the bottom right? What is all this? price when they're on flash sale well okay i mean but he tells you what fast. that is but ride around and stay on track in Rollum raceway i like the idea here with the new turbo i think this is cool you can move up to 40 space okay oh god dude not the reaction crap again they brought it back okay if you're gonna put reactions in let you let me turn it off let me turn it off this time i can't be dealing with sticker crap again <laughs> I'm having flashbacks from last weekend. Okay, but this is interesting. Like, he's over here. I, I wonder, like, this is, like, in between them. So it looks like the HUD kind of, like, moves around a bit. I don't know what that's about. This is with a lucky roll. Here on Goomba Lagoon, the ebb and flow of the tide can change. Right, what else can we get? Lucky spaces, blue item. Path. Is that there's and like a there's like a green and yellow one. I couldn't tell what that was. Really get mixed up when the volcano blows its. Okay, this reminds me of the We Play Volcano. Let me look it up. If I type in like We Play Volcano, have you never played We Play? Um. The board game island. I mean, it's not exactly, but I kind of get the vibe. Uh, along with five new games. Or not we play, we party. Whatever. That's what I meant. I get them confused. Uh, okay, cool. So they, there's more than five boards. At least they're not going to make that mistake again. Boards? Two boards. From there's seven boards, which is a fair amount. I think most of the Mario parties have about that. Uh, These Mario Party games make their return. I love Western Land. Good choice. Some mini games are action packed challenges, speed trials, a battle of wits, and more. And some are controlled by gently shaking. Okay, people are telling me that you can use, like, the. this. this thing. That you can use this thing. If you can use that, then I don't have any problems. I mean, it has, it has gyro in it. I mean, you can, like, tilt it and stuff. It works, you know? So, I'm okay with it as long as you can use this thing. Oh, yeah. Pro controller. That one. Or tilting your Joy-Con controller. Oh, silver lining. Small detail. They added drop shadow behind the names. That's better for content creation. Increased readability. Kind of huge. With over 110 mini games, there's a wide variety to enjoy. Also, the, I'm the HUD guy, okay? I gotta notice the HUD. Up to 20 players can go head to head online in the Coupathlon mode. Compete against your rivals. I, I do like and this. This looks cool. For first place. Wait. Was Spike in first? Wait, 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 wait. Spike owning? Wait, so does this have all the characters in it? It looks like none of these people are dupes. So it looks like, what is it, 20 characters? That's so many. Toadat, Wario, Ninji, Daisy, George the Dong player, Shy Guy, Toad, Koopa, Goomba, Waluigi, Monty Mole, Luigi, BJR, Peach, Mario, Rosalina, Boo, Yoshi, Birdo, Spike. Um... At least 20, maybe more, and they're probably going to do what they do for the normal Mario, like Mario Party Superstars online, where you pick a character and they pick a character, and then 
it just makes them see like a different one. So if you're both Yoshi, for example, like I would see someone else as like Birdo and they would see me as like DK and we would both be Yoshi, you know? Try your best. Oh wait, was there no Bowser in there? Then maybe there's more than 20. Best to come out on top. Wait, there are even more new modes? <laughs> the biggest Mario Party Why do you say it like will that? soon be underway. When the Super Mario Party Jamboree... Wait, there's even more new modes? This is like a six-player mode. Seven? Eight. Eight-player mode. More new modes? The biggest Mario Party yet will soon be... Oh, yeah, Bowser's the boss. Seven people down here. Uh... It looks like I look. I'm gonna be honest. I didn't play Mario Party eight or nine much. Whatever the one with where you're in the car and you fight Bowser. It looks like they're trying to do a little bit of everything. It looks like they've got like you fight the Bowser mode, and then there's like their their normal board mode. Maybe they're like, let's just take all the crap, put it into one game. Deb. Be underway. When the Super Mario Party Jamboree game launches on the Nintendo Switch system October 17th. Dude, maybe I should like run a tournament. <laughs> Streamer tournament for this. Could be fun. I don't know. I'm definitely gonna play it when it comes out though. That'll be hype. That was the Koopa latest Athlon installment of the Mario tournament. Party series. Super, Super Mario, Mario Party Jamboree. With new know. boards, Mini games, 20 player online gameplay, and more. Yeah, this, you do streamer, dude, you can actually do like a 20 streamer lobby. It's like Fall Guys. I love Fall Guys. Yeah, woo! Get ready for the biggest Mario Party in series history. Does that have a, that's got like a lot of them. I don't know if, is, does it have Ninja in here? Why can you play as Ninja, but he's not in any of these? Well, he's like a ninja. Maybe he's like hiding. And now, please take a look at this. Uh. Okay. No, it's too early, guys. I need to see the format. Okay, don't tell people I'm doing a tournament yet, but I think that would be cool. I might look into that in the future. Maybe when it gets a little closer, we get more gameplay. Uh, yeah, okay. So we've got the Brothership. Games that I think are good. I like that. Uh, I actually like this game. I think this game is going to be unironically kind of fire, especially from like a streaming standpoint. I think this will actually be like really good. I think people are sleeping on this game. I could be wrong. It might flop. And aim for the top of the online leaderboard. But I think this one will be pretty fun. Uh, then there's uh, Weebs, Weebs. In two on two matches using motion controls. Oh, yeah. Well, whenever I say a game's Try a good stream game, challenge solo. I'm not necessarily, it's necessarily saying it's a good game. The time limit. I think it'll be an entertaining game for people players to watch. can also compete in five streak battle. That is very different from like Besides a good game. Local play, you can team up with players like I think Mario and Luigi will matches. be a good game. I don't think it's a good stream game at all, though. This free update for Nintendo Switch uh, Sports dunks its way onto Nintendo Switch this summer. Hello this Kitty Island home. Adventure. Yeah, I'm getting all the, the big ones here. Team up with your Man, how are we going to get Looney Tunes Sports before GTA 6? That's level crazy. Up to four player local co uh, but watch out, Noisemaker. Among Us. Devices on others now, what am I actually looking for? So if you're like a Nintendo head, you only care about the Nintendo stuff. We have Mario and Luigi Brothership. Nintendo World Championship, uh, Switch Sports, I guess. Uh, I, I'm not too big on this. I'm not a big Donkey Kong Country fan, but it looks pretty cool. And roll on through. Each level is filled. Uh, Funko Pop. <laughs> dude, I can't. I can't with this game. I can't. I can't, dude. I can't with this game. To gadgets to explore epic world. What this game is crazy. Each with their own unique puzzle. Uh LM2, but that was already announced. What else do we have here? Perfect Dark on the Switch Online. Uh 
Um, what else do we have here? I mean, a Mario Party, I think, will probably be the biggest one for me personally in terms of, like, content and things I do on stream. I think this game's going to be huge. I think I'm going to be going kind of hard on this game. I think it's going to be cool. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with it yet. We'll figure it out. But I can tell you in advance, okay? And, like, don't hate me for this, okay? But we're going to be doing a lot of Mario Party in October, okay? I'm just going to say that much. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say it. Okay, if you're not a Mario Party guy, sorry. We're just going to be doing it a lot. Uh, I'm just telling you, I, I think it's going to be a big one. Unless it ends up sucking, but it actually looks pretty good. Uh, oh yeah, then there's this. The Zelda game. Looks good. This game actually looks really cool. Even battles will look different. You could pick up and throw a rock echo. For I don't example. think they'll let you do CPU tournaments. You can't do that That's on any of the new Mario them. parties. You for some reason. Echoes I don't know why. Masters. It's not like it was hurting anybody, but After they got rid of it. So, they'll fight by your side. Why'd they get rid of it? Maybe with like mods. Have different abilities, so choose the one you want to create based on the situation. I'm not too big on the art style. That's a personal thing. Oh, look at this. They brought back the Breath of the Wild stamina bar. <laughs> they just copied and pasted it in. Um, I'm not big on the art style. I think the gameplay looks interesting though, personally. Like being able to copy stuff, like that's it. cool. Uh, what else do we have in here? Anything else? Oh yeah, Metroid Prime. I've never played this game or any of these games, but this looks good. It looks good. I'm not gonna lie, man. It looks nice. What about the Dimpa Min? Okay, well that goes without explaining. I mean, we're gonna do Dimpa Min like release stream, okay? This is the real content. Let's be other than, let's be real here. We don't need anything else. We just need the Dimpa Min. Explore dungeons and battle monsters. Customize all sorts of outfits. Decorate your island. What what even is this, dude? What is the Dimpa Min? Wait, when does this even come out? Didn't they say it was like soon? <laughs> what if it sucks? I might I might actually stream it. Launches as a timed exclusive on Nintendo Switch, July 22nd. Whoa, that's kind of soon. I'm not gonna lie, it's in like a month. Uh <laughs> timed exclusive. Come on, man. Can we get a break here? Uh okay, anyways, I think that's pretty much the direct. I can talk about it more while I'm playing the game. Uh, today's stream's kind of chill anyways, but I just wanted to watch it. Um, by the way, in case you're wondering, the P... Well, actually, I don't know what font the P is in, but I have it open here. The Paper Mario font is called Pop Joy, and you can actually download this font for free. And I'm surprised more people aren't using it. So look, if you want a Paper Mario font, hit them up. Pop Joy. Wait, okay. Uh... Yeah, wait, 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 is it this? They- I'm trying to find that font that they use on everything. New Rodin. This is the one. When I saw New Rodin, dude, that's how I knew. Yeah, you see this crap? This is the Mario Party font. And they use it in Mario Kart 2. <laughs> and I think this is Rodin. He made it. So, thank you, Rodin. Okay. But yeah, look, if you want to find them, all you have to do is go search for... Um, Mario Wiki list of fonts. Okay, let me turn this on. We gotta do some gaming now.